just landed in Miami. This is the first time that I've actually flown into this airport. And what did I find? A cart. Super cool, I love doing this. Uh, especially because they cost five bucks. So I'm already ahead five bucks today. Lights, tripods, clothes. And what this thing is, is to go live on Facebook. So it's like a video switcher, it's all the cables, it's everything that I need to do to be able to go live on Facebook. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I got my camera bag here. We're doing dental CE courses live on Facebook. And I can't wait to take you guys along with me on this trip. Somehow I accidentally just got into the wrong Uber. So now I gotta figure out what we're gonna do next. <laughs> I ended up finding another cart just so I could load all five bags on there so that I can get back to number 24, which is where I told my Uber driver to pick me up from. Man, this is a great city to find carts. I found like six carts. It's just awesome. This is absolutely beautiful. I've never actually seen this like there's like another hotel like on the opposite side, but I've got this, anyway, it's almost giving me a vertigo just like looking over the edge of this thing, but beautiful, beautiful view behind me. Nice balcony view. Anyway, this will be my uh, place I'm staying for the next two nights, which should be pretty awesome. So another thing that's like really cool is being able to see boats on the, on the, the water. Just, I don't know, I can see why people live here. It's beautiful. Just uh, hanging out, man, enjoying the night. There's not a whole lot to do. Just gotta wait till two o'clock tomorrow. It's like cotton candy, pink sky. Looks absolutely beautiful. Weather out here is perfect. Back home, I'm starting to have to put on a jacket. But out here, short sleeves, beautiful night. Love seeing palm trees. Again, just stuff that I don't see at home. Looks totally awesome. Good morning. I just wanted to let you know that today is a day that's been, I think, in my mind, a lot of planning and stuff has gone into this. Like I've probably spent over a year now learning this process of going live on Facebook. And the hard part is today is another test where I'm gonna go one man band style. I'm gonna be switching, running camera, basically just doing everything. And the hardest part is there's always stuff they can go wrong. So it's creating backup plans to backup plans to making sure that everything is gonna go as close to perfect as possible, right? With new technology comes sometimes some new problems, but just being able to get through them, work through them, uh, at the end of the day, just making sure that my client gets what they need and that they're happy, then that's been a win and a success for me. So I would have loved to have had two guys at least on this, uh, on this particular gig, but someone to switch the show and someone to run camera, but I get to do all of that and making sure that everything runs smooth. So anyway, I took some time and I'm like drafting out the process of all the cable work that's gonna be going into this. So just check this out. All these inputs for microphones, I've got some outputs, everything's gonna be going like into the, the switcher HDMI come out of here into this guy, this guy just so I can switch on and off of what is actually going to the cameras, just so that we have a clean audio feed, and then feed all of this into one of the cameras through HDMI, which will come to this box. Anyway, it's crazy. I gotta run to go see if I can buy either headphones or an adapter so that I can use the current headphones that I have to make those work. Um, I did buy just recently the Bose headset, so I'm hoping that I can get away with just getting a adapter. And I'm hoping that there's gonna be one like next door. So I'm just heading to a Best Buy right now. I, I heard that there's a Best Buy mobile. I don't even know if they're gonna have what I need. It's always hard just to do a last minute scramble like this. All right, so Best Buy mobile didn't have what I needed. Now I'm gonna head to Staples, which I guess is two more blocks up the road here. Uh, I don't know, this might seem like a total wild goose chase to get something that I might not be able to get. More of the story, I should have just done a last minute final run through check. Dang it. Staples. 
So we're officially live now. Uh, we have a live audience here in Miami and we're excited to be able to be broadcasting to everyone live on your couches or in your homes or in your practices. And the winner of Dentistry's Got Talent, bring that check on up, whoever has that check. The winner is gonna go to Miss Laura Hatch with Front Office Rocks. All right, Laura, you wanna hold your check? I've never held a big check before. Can I point out, please, that Brandon did make it on camera. We tricked him. We just got Brandon to show up on camera. <laughs> How about a hand from Brandon? Yeah. 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 Thank you all for coming, and bye-bye! Bye! It kind of sucks, like I was actually planning on documenting more of the behind the scenes of live, all the stuff that hooked up, but as it comes down to it, like, things got crazy. It went really well, but like, it was like just such scrambling around, I just didn't even have time to pull out my camera. I was super disappointed after I was breaking down everything, but Anyway, I just got to a dental practice in Orlando, just drove in the car for like four hours just to get up here so that I could document uh, this practice. So tonight I'm just doing the 3D scan. In fact, I'll have you just come with me real quick and I'll show you. There it is. What's pretty cool about this is you can see it scanning. And then each of these dots are just a part of where you can do like a walkthrough. So anyway, I'm basically gonna build out this whole practice. It's pretty cool. I always love elevators that do this. Oh, crazy. So that is the airport. 